I was at the Starbucks on 25 and I think it's Selden or No, Sanary whoa, you're Park. lying. So what, um, I know you like to, uh, I guess it's like surprise everyone with uh, certain events, possibly. But can you share your next venture? Yeah, sure. Um, like I said, I normally do a trunk or treat. So as a Macaroni Kid publisher, a lot of us like to get out into the communities and either go as a vendor to events. And we usually bring like a fun craft or a giveaway and we get to talk to local families. Or some of us, like me, I, I like to actually go and create my own event. So this year being the year of the coronavirus, mm. I've come up with something different. And I have not told anybody this yet, but I have it in the works. And it's going to be for December. I'm going to be giving out um, You've Been Snowballed baskets. So it's kind of like if you've ever heard of a boo basket where you bring a special surprise to a family and then they try to bring another special surprise to another family. So for this, I'm getting some local businesses involved and they're going to be joining me in making 100, boo, um, 100 snowball baskets. And I'm going to be handing them out the first week of December as a pay it forward kindness type of a event, if you will, not really an event, but you know, some sort of an event. And um, it's going to be really great because I feel like this year has been very negative for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people are having a really hard time and struggling for many reasons, not just coronavirus, but obviously that's a big one. A lot of people aren't feeling as connected, feel like people are divided. And I thought that this would be a great way to kind of bring the community together into something that's positive. And December is the month of giving. So <laughs> I figured it would be a great way for me and my sponsors to give back to the community and hopefully inspire other families to snowball and keep the snowball effect growing. Right. And it'll hopefully go through the community as something that's positive for this year to end it on a good note. I love that, especially the, it's symbolic. Ending off in the year, year 2020 and then welcoming to 2021. I love pay it forward concepts. You, everyone hears about random stories of being in right. a line at a uh, drive through Starbucks and then someone out of nowhere. Yes, paying that it. actually happened to me the other day. Really? And for the first time, I was totally surprised. This happened just maybe a couple weeks ago at most. I was at the Starbucks on 25 in, I think it's Selden or No, Sanary whoa, Park. you're I'm lying. Because yes, and someone in front of me paid for our order. I was there with my kids and my husband. It was a weekend or something, I believe. They paid for us, and then I paid for the guy behind me. And I hope that they, I don't know how long it went. I hope it kept going. <laughs> that's but so, yeah. it, was, it was amazing. And that's actually kind of what helped start this whole snowball right. idea. It's funny you said that because I, I, a couple weeks ago, I paid for someone behind me in that, in that same Selden Starbucks. And I, I didn't pay attention to who they were. It, I, so if it was you, oh wow! Or but that would be so funny. Oh, oh well, then again, I like maybe I started the trend because I believe that hundred percent. I love that. Yeah. Yes. No, macaroni kid. We try to do as much as we can with that kind of thing <laughs> every year. And the end of September, we have our macaroni kid act of kindness week. And this was the first year I really didn't come up with anything. I was just so busy trying to set up homeschooling and I felt bad that I never did it, but I've done, you know, um, like I did drives for Save a Pet there in Port Jeff Station. I've done drives for our local pantries and things like that. So I'm just I'm kind of sad that I didn't get a chance to brainstorm this year, but we're I, I absolutely love the pay it forward and I love that you started doing that at Starbucks. Maybe it was me, I don't know. <laughs> what can somebody do to um, to be involved with macaroni? Yeah, you say you work for small businesses. What if I want to get involved with um, the snowball um, yeah, the snowball effect? That would be great. I have um, information that I can share. I have different um, sponsorship types and different ways to get involved with the snowball effect. And I would be more than happy to share. I just have shared it with just a couple of a few businesses. I already have three or four signed on, and there's only space for nine businesses to to help me with um, what I kind of have envisioned. 
and otherwise I, I would love you know I'm always going to be looking for things to put into the snowball basket itself you know candy or like play-doh right. or you know something fun for kids to do and I think it would be great I would I would love to get get you involved